friends welcome to my channel a preschooler i am meeta an educator and a trainer today i'm going to share the complete syllabus for nursery class if you are teaching your child at home or your child is attending the online class this video is going to be helpful for you aaj you will get to know the complete syllabus of nursery class and according to that you can prepare your child so in nursery class first we'll start from pre writing practice pages then we we'll move to exploring upper case letter then we are helping the children to know the number with the help of this book which is starting to count okay this is the evs book for nursery and lastly this is the phonics book which is going to help the children to learn the phonics of all the letter so let's start with english in english children has to practice pre writing strokes first before they are exposed to writing letters first they have to practice standing line slipping line slanting line and curve line through this kind of pre writing books you can help your child to practice standing line slipping line right slanting line left slanting line right curve left curve upper curve down curve circular line right and left curve both undulating line zigzag line wave line and spiral lines like this but all these lines are going to be very helpful for the child when he will start writing alphabet all these pre writing strokes are very important as they are helping the child to learn the art of writing after the child finishes the pre writing strokes then the child has to learn capital letters from a to j both orally and in written form under this the child has to identify or recognize all the letters the child has to trace the letters and say the letter name in few schools child has to learn the letters from a to z in the sequence and few will follow the pattern according to the pattern they will help the child to learn the letters preferably if you help the child to learn the easy letter first then you move to the difficult one it will be easy for the child to learn it and also the child will get confident that he can write independently so it will be always better if you start from the standing and slipping line pattern then you move slowly to the curve one and after the child will finish identification and tracing of all the letters the child should do all this activity like fill the missing letters or circle the missing letter match the same letters or match the letters to its picture dictation write before and after letter this is fill in the missing capital letters in abc order so like this you can give to the child and the child has to write the missing letters this is write the letter that comes after each letter like here d is written and the child has to write after d which letter is coming here like this worksheet you also can use for the child and the child has to write with the letter that comes after each letter in this worksheet the child has to write the letter that comes before each letter the child has to figure out which letter is coming before letter u and here the child has to figure out which letter is coming before t then comes the phonics in phonics the child should know the sound of all the letter and he has to write the letter in its alphabetical order and here the child is learning to associate the letter to its sound in sequencing activity the child has to string the letters in the right order right the child has to put a line from letter a to b then to c then to d here the child has to put a line from letter e to f then from f to g and again from g to h then again from h to i then j and then k so like this the child has to do this sequencing activity so through this kind of worksheet you can do the sequencing activity at home and here the child has to write all the missing letters from a to z also you can give worksheet like this which is cross the odd one out and color the pictures 
This is the picture of a Scott. This is arrow and this is apple. The child has to color those pictures which are starting with A sound and the child has to cross that picture which is not starting with A sound. So in the letter and sound correspondence activity, the child has to name the picture and write the first letter or sound in its name. Sound or letter correspondence activity you can divide into two parts. One is consonant sound and one is vowel sound. So in consonant sound, you have to give few pictures and you will help the child to figure out the first sound or first letter of that picture and the child has to write it. Right? This is the picture of a boat. The child has to find out that boat start with B sound or letter B and the child has to write B here. And in vowel sound correspondence activity, you can give few pictures and ask the child name the picture and write the first letter in its name. In math, the child has to learn pre-math concept first, in which big and small, tall and short, heavy and light, and few and many other. The child has to learn the numbers from 1 to 20. Numbers from 1 to 20, recognition is there, concept is there, writing, counting, coloring and review exercise will be there. You can give this kind of box to the child and you can ask the child to count and circle the correct number of object. This is one more worksheet where the child has to count the objects and the child has to write the number. In this worksheet also the child has to color the correct number of apples on each tree. Here number 4 is written and the child has to color 4 number of apple in this tree. This is one more worksheet in this. The child has to Write the missing number in this ladder and the child has to count all the dots and the child has to join these dots according to its respective number. Like 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Here 6 dots are there and here number 6 is there. The child has to join these 6 dots to number 6. In this worksheet, the child has to join the numbers to the right picture. In this worksheet, the child has to join the picture according to the number. The child has to complete the picture and the child has to color this picture. Here, the child has to write the after number. Then the child has to write before number and the child has to write the in between number. So like this, the child has to learn the number from 1 to 20 in nursery. After reverse counting, the child can learn shapes in which identification or differentiation of shape is there. For shape, you have to introduce one shape to the child. For example, this is a circle. Then you can give few exercise where the child can find and color all the circle. And here you can give few picture and the child has to find out the circle and he has to cross it. Like this you can introduce circle, square, rectangle and triangle. In EVS the child has to learn the color, then family, my body, my home, fruit, vegetables, clothes, transport, food, art school, domestic animals and wild animals, greetings, people who help us, Eating healthy, keeping clean places around us and day and night. So you can use this kind of worksheet to teach the color. You have to give the picture and the child has to color. And here the child has to circle the picture that are orange in color. In family, the child has to learn who are living in the family like father, mother, grandmother, grandfather, sister and brother. The child has to figure out who is this and the child has to say orally this is father, this is mother. In my body the child has to learn about parts of the body like hair, ear, nose, eye, mouth, finger, hand, stomach, leg, foot etc. And the child has to learn about myself. What is my name? What is my age? In which class I am studying? Like few sentences, the child has to learn about himself. Whether the child is a girl or a boy, like this the child has to learn few sentences about myself. 
This is the picture of my home. The child has to figure out this is a living room and we are watching television or we are reading or we are playing games in the living room. This is the bedroom where we used to sleep and we used to dress up. This is the bathroom. This is the kitchen where mother used to cook and this is the dining room where we used to eat food. So the child has to figure out which room is dedicated for which work. Here mother is cooking. So which room is it belongs to? This is belongs to kitchen. Here the child is bathing. So it should match with bathroom. In transport the child should learn the three mode of transportation like which vehicle is going on road and which vehicle is going on water and which vehicle is going on air. In food the child has to figure out what are the solid food and what are the liquid we are drinking? At school, the child is learning what are the objects we are keeping in our school bag. In animals, the child has to figure out which animals are domestic animals and which animals are wild animals. Okay? The child should learn in morning we have to say good morning. In afternoon we have to say good afternoon. In evening we have to say good evening and at night we have to say good night. In this the child will learn how people like policeman, teacher, farmer, doctor, driver are helping us. This is eating healthy. In this, the child will learn about healthy food and about junk food. So here is the worksheet where the child has to take the healthy food and the child has to cross the junk food. In this, the child should learn how to keep himself clean. It is like brushing every day, taking bath every day, washing hands before eating any meals, cutting the nails. All these activities which are keeping us healthy and clean. This is places around us. In this the child will learn the place which are around us like school, market, restaurant, bakery, hospital, post office, police station and cinema. This is day and night. In this the child will learn about what are the activity or object he can see in the night and what are the object or activity he can see in the daytime. 